Our tissue bank gets brain samples so quickly after death that we are able to harvest living cells. After you die, a number of different cell types in your brain, microglia in particular, will live on for a couple of hours. And we have developed techniques to get them out of the brains of, of patients who've recently died and keep them alive in a test tube. And we can use them then to find out what the cells in any Alzheimer's brain were doing. We're just looking at one, one piece of, uh, of the brain. And there's probably about, usually about 14 or 15 slabs. And uh, this is just one slab. It's uh, right frontal cortex. The story here is that we can use these cells as a living target. If you get the flask and uh, sure. show us, I think, live, that would be good. So what do we got here? Here we got happy nerve cells, a lot of connections. You're right. I mean, that's one of the things that we know that nerve cells like to do is make connections with each other, and they do that when they're healthy and happy. OK, so what if we put uh, these same nerve cells uh, together with microglia. And what if we add amyloid to this mix? What do we see? Ah, wow. So here, the microglial cells have puffed up. They're much bigger. They're filling with little vessels that contain digestive juices, so to speak. The most important thing here is the connections between the nerve cells that were so vivid in the previous image, they're gone.